so hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video and in this video i'll be solving problem g or a that was from round a 27 and this was a day four round so the problem is not that hard now let's start with the solution before we move on to the solution uh, i want to take a small break and tell you guys about newton school's premier coding contest so as all of you guys love cp and all of you, all of you guys love to code this is a great opportunity to show off your coding skills and also win some cash prizes there are prizes worth rupees 30,000 and along with this you can also win some free coding courses or also grab some internship opportunities, right? So uh, for this reason only Newton School organizes this contest every month on a global scale. So you can also benchmark yourself where you are lacking or where you are standing uh, compared to other students. So this month it will be on 27th October, it will be around two and a half hours starting from 9 p.m. And it is absolutely free to uh, sign up for. So there will, be, there will be a link down below. So do check out that link and sign up for the contest for absolutely free. Yeah. So let's move on to the solution now. So in the problem, uh, we have been given an array A, which is of size N, where N is up to 10 to the power 5. Right. So array A is something like A1, A2, A3, so on up to A. Then we define a new array B such that in general any element of b is written as bi is equal to a1 or a2 or a3 so on up to or of element a right so that is how we write a general element of array b so if we write array b here it is element b1 is equal to a1 element b2 is equal to how much a1 or a2 element b3 is equal to how much it is a1 or a2 or a3 and the last element will be how much it will be a1 or a2 or a3 so on up to or of element a right so this is b1 this is b2 this is b3 and this is bn now we want to reshuffle our array a such that this new array b is lexicographically maximal right so that is the problem we have to find the optimal reshuffling of array a such that array b is lexicographically maximal right so that is the problem and how can we solve this let's move on to the solution observations so in the problem, uh, we are dealing with bitwise operators, right? We are using the bitwise OR operator. So it is useful to think of numbers in terms of binary numbers instead of decimals, right? So going forward, I will only talk in terms of binary numbers and not decimal numbers, right? So keep that in mind. So first let's think about the knife solution and then we will try to optimize this knife solution, right? So if you want to uh, think about array B, your array B is A1 a1 or a2 a1 or a2 or a3 so on up to a1 or a2 or a3 so on up to a right or you can also rewrite uh, also you can rewrite this as your first element is equal to a1 your second element is equal to b1 or a2 your third element is equal to b2 or a3 and so on your last element is equal to how much b of n minus 1 or a of n right so that is how you can write your array b so the nice solution is to first find this value a1 so you can iterate over your whole array and find the value which will give you the maximal array uh, which will give you the maximum value a1 right because you want to maximize your array b so you can iterate over your array iterate over array and find maximal value for b1 right this will take o of n time then you know this value right then you know the value of b1 then you can do the same thing then you know the value of b1 now you can iterate over the whole array and try to find the value a2 which will maximize the value b1 or a2 right then iterate over array iterate over array and find value which maximizes b1 or a2 
right as you already know the value of b1 now you just need to find this a2 so you can again do the same thing in o of n you can do the same thing now you know the value of b2 so you can do the same thing for a3 and find this in o of n and you can do, do this for all the elements right so you can do a brute force approach and find every element in o of n and obviously this will take you o of n square time if you try to do a brute force and try to find every element in O of n time. Now, there is only one observation that will help you reduce this complexity from O of n square to O of constant into n, right? So how can we do this? So let's see that. So the observation that we need is that only first 30 elements are important only first 30 elements are important why so so if you think about this uh, let's say uh, you have your new array as a dash so you refill you refill your array a into a new array a dash right so you have your uh, new elements as a1 dash a2 dash a3 dash so on up to a n dash your array b is equal to a1 dash b1 or a2 dash b2 or a3 dash and so on now let's assume your first element a1 dash is equal to 100101 in binary form your element b2 is how much it is equal to b1 or a2 dash right so your b1 is equal to how much it is equal to 100101 and then or it was your new element a2 dash and as you can see you want to lexicographically maximize your array b right and let's say you choose your element a2 dash as equal to 101 and if you are these two elements if you are 100101 with 101 you again get 100101 so you can see that your element b2 is equal to b1 right and we don't want this we want to lexicographically maximize our array b so b2 is equal to b1 is not a suitable result for us and as you can see i will choose my a2 dash if i choose my a2 dash such that it has the same set bits as b1 then i will get my b2 is equal to b1 right because if you or two elements that have the same set bits i will get the same element as my all right so if i choose the a2 dash such that my it has same set bits as b1 then i will get b2 equal to b1 and i don't want this so I will choose my a2 dash such that it has some different set bits than b1. Then I will get my element b2 is greater than b1. And this is what I want. I want to lexicographically maximize my array b. Right. For example, if I choose my a2 equal to 1, 1 in last case, as you can see, now these two bits are different. And this is my b1, this is my a2 dash. Now my b2 is how much? Now my b2 is equal to 100101. 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. Sorry, 100111. 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. And as you can see, my b2 is now greater than b1. And this is useful for me, right? Because I want to lexicographically maximize my array b. So, how will this help us to reduce our complexity from O of n scale? So, as you can see, my b1 had only three set bits my b1 has only three set bits and i will choose my a2 dash such that it has some different set bits obviously if my b1 has three set bits and my a2 dash has some bits that are not set in b1 then my b2 dash will have more set bits sorry my b2 will have more set bits than my b1 right that makes sense right because I am choosing my element a2 dash such that it has some different bits than b1. So if you odd these two numbers, your b2 will have more set bits than b1. So you can say if your b1 has, let's say, if your b1 has three set bits, then your b2 will at least have four set bits. Similarly, your b3 will follow the same pattern and your b3 will also have more set bits than b2. So it will also have more than four. Let's say it has five set bits and so on. So up to b30, your element b30 will have around 33 set bits right that's what i'm assuming so your b30 will have 33 set bits in this case in the worst possible case 
and if you see your value of elements a here your value of element ai is going up to 10 the power 9 your value of elements ai is up to 10 the power 9 so they will have around 30 set bits they will have around 30 set bits so when you reach your element b30 it will have all the bits as set right and when you go forward whatever elements you choose they won't matter right because your b30 is as maximum as it can be your b30 will be as maximal as possible it won't matter what you choose uh, like afterwards right because your b30 is already as maximum as it can be so whatever elements you choose after this it won't matter so you just need to do a brute force for the first 30 elements and after that you can just uh, print however you like just print whatever you have left because it won't matter so first your solution was o of n into n right because you were brute, you were doing a brute force for every element but now you just need to brute force the answer for the first 30 elements so now your answer is equal to how much it is equal to o of 30 into n right and it can pass under the time limit and that is the entire solution so the only problem was to reduce your o of n square complexity into o of 30 into n and to see that it was important to observe that uh, whenever you're going from b1 to b2 to b3 uh, number of set bits will increase by at least one right so when you reach b30 you will your answer will be as maximum as it can be and uh, choosing the elements after that aren't important right the order of the elements after the 30th element is not relevant uh, so you so you just need to brute force for the first 30 elements and then whatever elements you have left you can print them however you like and that is the solution so if I, if I have to summarize it once again, the summary is solution summary, brute force for first 30 elements and then print whatever is left, then print whatever is left. And that is the solution. So if you guys want to see the code for this, here's the code so i am keeping my vector uh, the vector in starting this is my uh, the starting or will be equal to zero then i will do 30 iterations or n whichever is minimal so i will do uh, either n iterations or 31 whichever is small so in every uh, i will do a brute force run and i will find the element which will give me the best or right so i will iterate over all the elements of the array if vi uh, v of i is equal to minus one that is if i have already used this element i will skip Otherwise, I will uh, take this element and check if it, it if it is giving me the best or or not. If it is giving me the best or, I will mark this element as this is the best element that is giving me the or. And at the end, uh, I will add this to my uh, I will add it to my running or. I will push this to my answer and I will mark this element as used. Right. So v of best index equal to minus one. It means that I have now used this element and going forward, I won't use it again. So I will pick the first best thirty elements here. Then whichever elements are left, whichever are not equal to minus one, I will I will then just push them into my answer array, right? Because the answer because the order won't matter after the first thirty elements, and in the end I can just print out my answer, and that will be the entire solution. So if you guys have doubts, uh, feel free to join my Discord server. I am more than happy to take your doubts there. And that was it for this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.